so you want to make a sub mod for an already existing mod in Crusader Kings 3. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to make your own culture and add it to an already existing mod and also how to edit an already existing culture within this mod. This tutorial is happening because of a viewer who commented on a previous video who is wanting to know how to make sub mods uh, specifically for culture. In this tutorial I will be doing both editing the files and creating new files. So to start us off what we want to do is go to all install mods and search for the mod that we're wanting to make a sub mod for. In this case we're going to do Game of Thrones. So if you go show in folder here and the folder location will show up. What we want to do is go back one and then copy and then paste that onto your desktop. I already got it here. We want to create a backup for future versions when they update the mod so you can also update your sub mod without having any conflicts or any issues there. Another thing to do as well is that you could go back in here and you can pin to quick access uh, like I have done here so it's very easy to go back into the mod folders and have a look at what files they have. And then moving on from that we want to create our new sub mod so if you click on upload mod and then click on create a mod and name that mod so let's say culture a got uh, sub mod we're going to put the version as 0.1 and then a got culture sub mod as the directory you can name this whatever you like uh, put the tag as culture and then once that's created we want to upload it so this needs a description of at least 10 characters and then uh, upload that to steam once that is done downloading what we can do now is go to our file explorer and then look for our mod folder here so this is where the mod will be located uh, so we've got the mod that we've just created and then the file outside here so the dot mod file so we want to open that up then we want to change this to 1.16 point asterisk so this is the supported version so this is how uh, which version your mod will be supported with so 1.16 point whatever and then go into your new mod and do the same thing on this file 1.16 point asterisk and then for the next step what we need to do is I'm going to go back into the Game of Thrones mod and then look at the file locations or the folder locations so in this case what we're going to be doing is editing the culture folder so, so we want to take note of the directory that we're going through uh, so we've got common culture cultures so we're going to be editing the Valyrian culture so if we could copy on that one and then go into our our mod and then type in common and then culture and then inside of this one we've got cultures and then inside of that we can then paste in our agot file here and then we can open that with visual studio code so once that's open we can start editing whatever we like so in this tutorial i'm just going to edit this ethos here so i'm going to name it some or put a different variable on it so let's just say courtly uh, and then we can change our tradition as well so uh, if we go maybe city keepers this, this tutorial's primary purpose is to just show the fundamentals on creating a sub mod but yeah this is all that is needed if you're just wanting to edit one culture so now we'll move on to making new files so if we go back into our file explorer and then go to our mod here we can create a new file you can do this in visual studio code as well so we'll name it 00 underscore test underscore col underscore test culture so anywhere with the word test can be uh, is placed you can replace that with anything you like same with the col once we've named that we can open that up with visual studio code and then for this tutorial i'm just going to be copying the high valerian culture so we're just going to scroll all the way down copy that and then put that into our new file and then change the name of that to test underscore culture and then we can change the ethos as well to whatever we like bureaucratic for example or we could do uh, ancient miners for the traditions and that's all for this file uh, the only th other thing we need to do is add in localization so if we go back to the file explorer and then we go to the agot mod again go right to the base of the mod look for the localization folder in English and agot and then go down to cultures and then inside here we can see that we've got agot cultures l english.yml 
So we just need to follow the follow folder location of that. So going back to our Visual Studio code, we can go and create a new folder, call it localization. New folder within that, call it English. New folder within that, call it AGOT. New folder within that, call it cultures. And then we can copy over that file. So I'm just going to copy that into there. So this is an already made file by the AGOT mod creators, uh, but we just need to edit it to add in our culture. So if we go test underscore culture, colon zero, and then name this culture. So I'm just going to name it test culture. And then I'll copy that, go to the next line and then paste, and then underscore prefix colon zero and add in a prefix for my tutorial I'm just going to add test slash and then copy paste that again underscore collective noun colon zero and then test cultures so that is the end of this uh, file again so what we can do now is upload this to steam and then launch the game so my workflow with doing this is going upload mod find where your mod is, so in our case culture a got sub mod and then upload it to steam workshop once that's done just need to open steam up, go to workshop your files pub, files you've posted culture a got sub mod subscribe to it so once it's in the place it, what you need to do is make sure that it's underneath the mod that you are creating a sub mod for so the load order will go load this mod first and then load this one afterwards so it's overwriting anything that was in this so since this is all in the place set and ready to go we can click play so once we're in the game we can create a random ruler look into valerian and have a look to see and it seems like our ethos changes and our city keepers changes went through and the brand new culture that we have made here so that's all working that's perfect so if you just want to test if it works and when you click start all right so that is all working as well cool that's the end of this tutorial if you do have any questions uh, please let me know in the comments below like the video if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and if you have any ideas for any other tutorials please let me know in the comments below cheers